Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Uh, quick announcement, guys. We have uh, launched recently QA Daily dot Dev. It's a platform for all the QA folks. If you are really interested in reading multiple articles, blogs, what exactly people are doing around the world with respect to uh, you know multiple tools, test automation, test automation practices, testing practices. If you really want to know that, okay, okay, uh, I really follow this person, but I have no idea, okay, this person is writing the blogs or not. So you can come to this particular platform and then you can just search and then read about the blogs. It's like a daily dev. You must have used that. Daily dev is for the dev people. We have designed some very similar to this, which is like inspired by a daily dev here, qadaily.dev. So you just need to go to this URL, qadaily.dev. It's absolutely free platform, especially designed for the QA community, nothing else. So what you just need to do, you just need to go to this particular platform, go to sign up, and then you can just sign up with your username, password, and email, or you can just simply log in with the Google account also. You see, I'm just going to log in with the Google account, and then after that, it's absolutely good to go with that. Okay, so let's see if you really want to, I canceled it. If you really want to create your own account, that also you can just simply do it over here. So once you have completely logged in, then it will look like this. So now you see that, okay, we have uh, logged in here in this particular platform. And then you see that, okay, multiple blogs are available here. You just keep scrolling down. You will keep checking and keep seeing the blogs available here. I hope you guys can see that. Okay, just like we keep scrolling the Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, same thing over here. You just keep scrolling down and then you will see amazing blogs with respect to QA, with respect to test automation, performance testing, mobile testing, AI testing, API testing, everything you will see over here at a single platform, right? So we have around more than 60 sources from where we are actually fetching the uh, fetching the articles, their blogs and everything. You can just simply come and then start reading about according to your interest. We have categorized into multiple uh, parts. You see that, okay, all the blogs which are available in the all tab. If you're really interested, okay, what exactly happening with respect to AI and AI in testing, you can go and then you can see the blogs available over here with respect to AI testing. See, so many blogs are available for AI in testing. So if you really want to know, okay, what is the role of AI in the testing? What exactly people are learning? What exactly people are doing in this particular tool? You can just simply go and then check it over here like that. Same thing, what is happening with respect to automation? Automation is such a, you know, big category. So, so many articles are written with respect to uh, uh, test automation also here. Same thing for the best practices, what exactly people are following. Same thing for the community driven uh, blogs also written over here. Performance driven blogs also available here. Okay. And then after that security related also. Then after that API testing also, if you're really interested, let's see in the API around the world, what exactly people are doing with respect to API, you can just simply come here and then check it here like that. Same thing for the mobile automation also, mobile testing also, see testing flutter applications or anything. You can just simply go and then check all these blogs available here, right? So for example, how will you read the blog? For example, let's see if I really want to know about this performance testing. I click on it and then I can see, okay, yeah, this is what it's written, written by Arpit Chobe. And then I can copy the link. I can share with my WhatsApp group also, Facebook also, on LinkedIn, Twitter also. I can just simply share it like that. And then I for that, if I really want to uh, like this blog, I can put a upward and downward also if i really want to put a comment that also you can do it so let's see i'm writing nice article okay and then after that click on post comment the comment will be posted over here now if i really want to read the full blog click on it and then it will move to the respective blog over here the medium.com and you can just simply come and then read about this particular blog then close it and then again come back here now okay this blog is done let's move on to some other blog like this, you can just keep reading it and then you can just improve your, increase your knowledge about it. For example, if I really want to know that, okay, what exactly is happening, uh, something with respect to Playwright. So I'll simply say, okay, fine, let's see Playwright blogs. So I'll search for the Playwright in the search and then you see that, okay, the Playwright related uh, articles and the blogs are visible over here. See that fixing the failing test automation with the Playwright new healer agent and then cross browser testing with the Playwright right? Complete guide with the playwright. So many examples, I mean, so many articles you will see with respect to playwright only here. So you don't need to open those 50 tabs in your Chrome browser and checking, okay, what exactly, okay, is happening around the world and what exactly people are doing, what exactly people are writing. So here you will get the complete idea. And this is just the starting guys. 
This should be your daily routine activity. In every two three hours, we are fetching the latest content from worldwide content. We are fetching it from through the RSS feed, and then we are dumping it over here. And then this is for you guys that you can just come and then start reading about these blogs and then improve your knowledge and then increase your knowledge here. Okay. So for example, let's say I really want to know what is happening with respect to Selenium. So in that case, for Selenium, see that it's amazing, fast, very lightweight platform, and then all the articles you will see it over here. that what is happening with respect to selenium so let's see selenium technology along with python framework i click on it i really want to read the blog okay this is written by let's see some uh, uh some user vidya and then click on this and then i will see it will directly go to the dev.2 <coughs> and then you can just simple go and then read about the blogs available over here right and then again close it and then come back over here close this window and then just keep checking other blogs as well here see my blog is also here then after that if you really want to check for a specific uh, let's see some we have collected multiple sources also some category wise more sub categories that we have given it over here let's see if you know about james james is i really want to know that how exactly or what exactly james is writing so i simple say search for james and then james back i'm talking about and then you simple click on it you can filter it out on the basis of that also here okay so i hope that is there if the yeah see the james box are available here can you see james is writing for the satisfies and then uh, all the blogs about james you can read it here click on it and then read the full blog and then you will directly go to this uh, satisfies.com and then read about that particular blog from michael bolton and the uh, and james okay so multiple after that just simple clear all <clears throat> clear all the filters and then you will see again back to normal here it's a very simple application we try to make it very simple very cool so that you don't need to you know because this is only for the knowledge point of view it's not like okay we really want to give some high fundu you know animation or fancy look and feel a very simple look and feel we inspired it's got inspired from the daily dev we thought okay let's try to do something for the qa community as well and then uh, if you are a if you are a blogger if you are writing the blogs on article i would like to invite you guys you can also submit your articles over here it's very easy process click on submit article then write your name write your email write your medium blog url here and then select the category that you have written with respect to api testing security mobile or anything just simple select the specific category and after that click on submit we have a backend team we will review your article and then if everything is fine with your article or perfect perfectly return then we will publish it and within uh within a second after the approval your blog will be published over here right so this is what that you can just simple easily do that so make sure that okay we have already crossed around 4000 users on this platform it's very quick we not even like publicly announced much okay this is the first time i'm coming on the youtube also to talk about the qa daily but we are planning to go to to the next level so that all the multiple blogs like worldwide blogs are available here right now if you really want to see the sources if you click on go to profile and then click on sources so these are the total 63 sources which are available over here i hope you can see that okay the top trending blogs are coming from medium dev2 navin automation labs catalog martin follower evil tester testing experts and you see the okay number of blogs which are available here from browser stack from lambda test from dev2 from medium from uh <clears throat> varieties of uh, different platform which are already available who are writing some really amazing blogs we are fetching the data from there and then it's available here now most popular also you can see recently added also you can see most trending also you can see and coming back here right so simple just use these this platform and then start improving your knowledge share with your friends share with your colleagues make it a habit that okay whenever you are getting free just simple open your laptop open the browser write qadaily.dev or just bookmark this and see what is happening here tomorrow you have interview with respect to api testing so i can just simple search for api testing just to improve my knowledge here see this so with respect to api testing i'm getting so many blogs which is which are written over here which are like published over here you can just simple come and then check about what is offline api client see something very interesting very unique topics you will see here right so that's why you can just drastically improve your knowledge with respect to the specific uh, tool with respect to a specific subject also here right so that also you can easily do that okay so just start using it guys this is amazing and then i would like you to invite all of you to come back i mean come to this platform and then make sure that okay you are doing 
and start engaging about this also. See, I'm liking it. And then after that, share your thoughts. You can again share your thoughts available here. Okay, write some comments and then ask the questions. Maybe you can reply to others' questions also. It will give the visibility to the user as well and then it will improve your knowledge as well here. Okay, it's very simple. You just need to log in and then after that, start using it. There is no other rocket science. You don't need to pay any single penny for that. And then we are planning to at least to go to 100 sources, the top notch blogs. We are not going to entertain or we are not going to publish only very basic blogs like what is testing, what is manual testing. Those very simple blogs, we are not going to entertain here. This is for the serious people who are actually coming and then reading about some really amazing uh, articles. What exactly people are writing it? What is happening? What is trending in the testing? What is, uh, let's say, you really want to know about the AI testing. And then how exactly AI agents are helping me in the software testing world, in the test automation world, I really want to read about it. So it's like, you know, like complete, I would say, library of the knowledge. And then you can just simply come and then plethora of knowledge you can see here and then start reading about it and start learning about from these blogs. Right. After that, you can just simply share it. If you are really interested, please simply click on submit article and then you can submit your article as well. Within two, three, uh, two to three hours, we will publish your article if everything is fine. If your article is rejected, we will give you a proper reason also that why your article got rejected. This is a reason because of that your article got rejected over here. So if you really want to share your knowledge also with the people, with the, with the QA world, with the QA community, I think this is a very right platform and then it will be there. Your blog will be there forever in our backend, in our database, and then it will be published forever with a lifetime access. So people just simply come here and then start reading about your blogs as well. So it will give you a lot of visibility also. People who are writing the blogs, people who are writing the articles on other platforms. You just need to write whatever existing blogs also that you are having it. Simply click on submit article and then just simple up, uh, submit, uh, give the article URL here and that's it. For example, let's see, I have already written 10 amazing medium blogs, but no one is going there because engagement and the review is very, very less. Right. Reviews are very less because no one maybe knows me or maybe I'm not publishing it much or maybe it's I publish once in a on a LinkedIn. But after that, no one is coming to my you know medium blog or something. You just simply publish it here and then see the changes. I'm sure that, OK, you will start loving this particular tool. So not only for the creators, it is really helpful for the readers. Also, reader also can come and then see varieties of articles available here. And there is no end. You see that, okay, keep scrolling down. It is just like Instagram, just like you see the reels. Now you will start reading and seeing the blogs here as well. Very soon, we will try to add more uh, things like best testing books. Best testing conferences are happening around the world. We will create it, some tabs over here so that you can click on it. And then you will see that, okay, fine. If I'm in Bangalore, if I'm in US, if I'm in Singapore, uh, near me, any testing activities or any testing conferences or meetups are happening, we will try to fetch. Uh, that data also our team is working on it and then we will try to uh, publish and we will try to list it over here as well simple okay and varieties of filters which are available you see the app tools automation panda browser stack circle ci uh, you see cypress blogs dev2 playwright dev2 selenium gurok quality hub jenkins blog catalon lambda test naveen automation labs playwright blog Playwright releases Selenium blog. We will add more YouTubers also. Don't worry about that. Tools QA, best practices. You will see Dev2 QA, Dev2 testing, Evil tester, Google testing blog. So let's see how exactly Google is writing, what exactly Google is doing with respect to, uh, you know, uh, with respect to Google testing. So see that, okay, all the Google testing related blogs are coming over here. Simply your control flows, write, write the clean code to reduce the cognitive load. See, a lot of blogs are available for the Google as well over here, right? So I'm sure that, okay, you will love it. For example, let's see if I have maybe Netflix. So see Netflix tech blocks are available. And you really want to know about, okay, post training generative recommenders for with advantage weightage supervised. I really want to read about this particular blog written by testing technology blog. And I click on it. You will directly go to the uh, Netflix uh, medium site here. And then you can just simply go and then read about it here. And obviously, if you have a medium uh, subscription, then obviously you have to pay for it because we don't control the medium. Medium is not our platform. If you have the a medium subscription, you can easily read all the medium blogs from here directly. You can navigate from here.
So the idea is that you don't need to open multiple tabs here. You don't need to search for multiple, you know, on Google and then hundreds of platforms are available for, you know, testing blocks. Which one is good? Which one is trending? What exactly people are doing? You don't need to do that research. You can save a lot of time. Focus only on your learning. That is what I'm trying to explain here. That is the main, uh, you know, uh, motivation behind to create this particular platform here. So I hope you will love it. I hope you will like it. So if you really like it, guys, uh, feel free to share this particular uh, URL with others. Share this platform with your team, colleagues, in your Slack channel or in your uh, office group also, in your QA community. If you have any Telegram group or other groups also, please feel free to share this. I want more and more people are coming and then using it. We recently launched it. It's like less than one month only. And within one month, we crossed around 4,000 users without any marketing, without any much things we just share a couple of times on linkedin that's it this is the first time i'm coming on youtube because we were fixing a couple of bugs and still there are some improvements definitely we are okay looking into it most welcome if you really want to contribute for this particular project also most welcome if you really want to list your blogs most most welcome this is for you this is our platform for the qa community so please come and then start using this platform so that's all for this video guys thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all